That's it. That's the whole of it. And you want my opinion? Forthrightly and honestly. I think you've lost your mind. Well, that's plainly said, Colonel Glover, but it's quite beside the point. The question is, can you do it? No, I cannot. But I will. <laughs> what the devil does that mean? It means that the whole thing is a damned lunatic affair. But if you're determined to ride into hell, I'll go along. And my fishermen will go too. When all is said and done, there's no alternative, is there? I think not. I will then. That's that. Glover. Sir. Thank you. Tell me that when we've done it, sir. Yes. It's Christmas Day, sir. Merry Christmas. Thank you. You always share with cold water? Well, I damn well better be used to cold water before the day is out. Now you can bank on that, by God. If you go through with it. Oh, we're crossing, Glover. Today. At nightfall. May I ask you a question, sir? If I said no, would it dissuade you? In this case, sir? No, it wouldn't. Well, then, by all means, Glover, what is it? Would you attack the Hessians in open daylight? That is a damn fool question. I have no intention of attacking in daylight. But would you? Glover, speak plainly, if you will. Very well. Let us say we push off the boats at half past five. Full darkness. That will give us six and a half hours for crossing. You plan to march to Trenton at midnight. A night march in this weather with men who will be wet, freezing, and already exhausted. If you can whip them and the guns along at two miles an hour, you can get to Trenton before dawn. We will do three miles an hour. Maybe I'm not saying you will, I'm not saying you won't. But there's ice in the river. And as God is my witness, there's no man on earth who can carry that army across in six hours. Or ten hours. So you will be coming to Trenton in daylight. Providing we can cross that damn river at all. That last you said. Son. Providing we can cross at all. Glover. Yes, sir. You have been a pain in my ass and a thorn in my side since the day we met. You'd be a general today if you hadn't burned the ass of every man on my staff. Oh, being a general, it's more private soldiers we need, not more generals. True enough. You are a hard man to like. But you saved my army at Brooklyn Heights, and you saved it at Throg's Neck, and you saved it when they drove us across the North River. You have more guts than any man I have ever known. And you're a damned good soldier. So I'm giving you an order. And unless you want to take your men back to Marblehead, Massachusetts, Wherever that cold and godforsaken Yankee place is, you will carry it out. You will take my army across the river, and you will do it tonight. Very well, General. I'll carry your army across the river. God help me, I don't know how, but I'll do it. And I will not march on Trenton until the last boat is across. I want your fishermen with me. They'll be with you.